Audi has decided it's going to slow down its electric vehicle production, its rollout of new EV models. Audi is planning on manufacturing a lot of its EVs in China, but it needs some time to get that up and running. And that's why they're entering this limbo phase where they won't have a whole lot of EVs coming out and not a whole lot of production for the next year or two. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Audi has scaled back its EV rollout. It's going to continue to make plug-in hybrids and internal combustion engines in the near future. Basically, it's slightly changing its plans. And part of this is to do with its acquisition of a new software company. The group has bought a new software company in China for around about $2 billion. And then also building new EV platforms and new EVs in China. And it's going to take them a little while to get those off the ground. Audi will not it's not looking to maximize EV production in the near future. It's slowing down production, in fact, if anything. It's responding to easing demand, it says. Now, easing demand is kind of an interesting comment to make when you're seeing 800,000 electric cars sold in a single month in China. You're seeing EV sales growth in every major continent around the world. So slowing demand is just this myth that people are talking about because it's, it's kind of their excuse for not making that many, in, but not being able to make them at a profit. That's the other key here. The automaker's new CEO, Gerno Dolner, said the brand will continue to push internal combustion and plug-in hybrids in order to keep its dealers happy. Not sure if that's true, but we do know in China that they've sold some of their cars for half price, which is um, maybe not keeping dealers happy. Anyway, recently Audi announced plans to bring out 20 new models by 2026. Half of those are electric. So clearly Audi are still working on significantly investing millions of dollars, probably in fact billions, onto internal combustion engine vehicles because this means it has 10 new models coming up between now and 2026 over the next two years, which will be primarily internal combustion engine models. That's a lot of models focusing on that drivetrain technology. I think that's a, possibly a wasted investment. But we'll see though. Audi says the order in which it releases those vehicles is flexible, whatever that means. Anyhow, the CEO says this, he believes that releasing internal combustion and plug-in hybrid models soon will be better for both the automaker and consumers in the short term. We first looked at what order and density of launches the organization could handle, he said. In the end, we decided to spread it out or not overwhelm the team and the dealerships. Now, the truth is here that Audi has been working on solving software problems. It's had a lot of them. It's been working on a new EV platform that's been stalling, the cost of that platform is too expensive. So Audi's had to go to China to try and buy platforms from them. It's now actually purchasing platforms from Sake, which is a part Chinese government owned mega automaker, one of the biggest producers of EVs in the world. Audi's um, kind of falling behind the race here a little bit. Mercedes and BMW obviously revealing lots of new EVs and selling lots and Audi's, well, not, it's sort of slowing down, I think it's fair to say. Audi is waiting on the completion of its new electric car platform, the PPE platform, which is meant to be a new advanced chassis for electric vehicles that's been held back by the Volkswagen Group's software problems and numerous other issues. It's meant to actually underpin several vehicles, including Porsche, Macan, EV as well. The Q6 e-tron was supposed to kick off an EV onslaught for the brand, as well as for Porsche and Bentley, but it's been delayed repeatedly for numerous EV production difficulties. And Volkswagen has said the roof is on fire, at the company, uh, yeah, all kinds of things have come out. So basically Audi is saying slowing EV sales are a positive for the company. With this triad, our new EVs, a new generation plug-in hybrids and internal combustion engine models, we're robustly and flexibly positioned for the transition phase. He added that the EVs will continue to be important to the brand as the technology becomes visible to consumers step by step. Well. I mean, today, the new Polestar 2 was announced. We just saw the prices for it. It's actually quite a nice car. Definitely will rival a many Audis. But is there an Audi equivalent you can get for a similar price with similar specification and range? No, there's not. I don't see any coming anytime soon either. Now, the Audi, Audi CEO did admit that Audi is struggling with the competition in China. And that's part of the reason for its dwindling sales in the country, which is the world's biggest car market. Thanks for watching.